Welcome, I'm Pamela Huntington. I'm part of the mixed media team for the ICE Resin Group, and I thought we'd do something a little different today. It occurred to me that many of you have been creating with the ICE Resin and learning from all these tutorials that you see, and might now be ready to have a little Etsy shop and sell some of the things you've been making. So I thought it would be fun to learn how to create an Etsy banner. I am doing this in Photoshop CS6, but you can also do it in Adobe Elements. It works just as well. We won't be doing anything that isn't available in either of those programs. And the one we're going to create today is the one you see before you. This is not a real shop. I just made it up for the purposes of this tutorial. So let's get going. We'll start right from the beginning. We're going to go to File and New. Now we're going to name it Bower Bird. And we're going to change the width to 760 pixels wide, 100 pixels tall, or the height, and we're going to make it at 72 dpi. And we're keeping it RGB color, background is going to be white, and we're going to click OK. Make this one smaller again. All right, we'll bring this to the center and make it a little bit bigger so you can see what we're doing. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is on my background, I want to add a little bit of color. And the reason I'm doing this is I'm going to be putting some other images on top of this layer, and I want to be able to blend them in. And if I don't put a color back there, it won't blend. So I'm going to go down to my color picker box. I'm going to pick on the top click on the top color and I'm going to choose a light blue and you can choose any light blue that appeals to you and I'm going to click OK. Now on the bottom I want the color to be white. Um, if yours isn't white click on it and pick a white and then click OK. Now we're going to go up here to the gradient tool and select the gradient tool and at the top this is where the gradient tool is controlled and we're going to click on this to make sure that we're on that blue to white gradient we're going to leave it as this plain gradient selection. Uh, normal mode, 100% opacity, everything else will leave the same. So with your cursor, start right at the upper left-hand corner and drag it diagonally to the lower right-hand corner. And there you'll see that nice soft blue to white that you're going to have. Go back to your Move tool. And I'm going to, na I'm going to change the background name to blue background. Click OK. Now I'm ready to add some images to it. And the first thing I have is I have some eggs that I want to put on. Now these eggs I know are considerably bigger than this image that we're working on, this little um, Etsy collage. So, but, I, but I'm OK with that because I want these eggs to completely fill it up. Now the eggs are on a transparent background. You can tell that because Photoshop shows you with this little checkerboard. So I'm going to drag them up there and see there it's much bigger, but I really want it to be bigger like that. So I'm just going to maybe put that white egg sort of towards the middle. I'm going to make this smaller. Over here I'm going to name this layer eggs. And I'm going to, with that layer selected, I'm going to go up here and at the top of the layers panel are all these blending options and I'm going to choose darker color. And see how it pops some of the blue through some of those lighter spots? That's what I wanted it to do. Okay, so now we'll add another image. I'm going to go down and I have some birds. Now I think these birds are larger than what I want them to be for this image. So let's go up and check. We'll go to image an image size and in elements it's image and resize and they're about an inch and I'm going to change them down to about three quarters of an inch and again this is this has constrained proportions check so it will change the width and the height in proportion and then I'll click OK. So now they're a little smaller again they're in a transparent background and I'm going to drag them over to my collage and I really only want one of the birds showing so that's where I'm going to leave them over in the right hand corner. I'm going to come over to my layers panel and name it birds. And I'm going to take just a minute here and show you something. Uh, these images are going on very nicely today exactly in the order that we want them. But if you're doing your collage and for some reason they come out of order, for instance if you drag the bird over and you know the birds there but you can't see it, it could be that it, you need to look over here at your layers panel and the bird might be 
behind the background or somewhere else in which case you merely take your cursor hold this down and pull that bird back up to the top of the layers okay now I also want to give it a little more depth so I'm going to go up to image and adjustments and brightness and contrast now if you're working in elements you have this I believe it's under enhance and you can auto enhance it which would be just fine it does a very good job so I would do that um, now for the bird you have to make sure we're on the bird layer and we're going to move up the contrast a little bit and I'm going to brighten it because I want it to kind of look shiny and stand and stand out a little bit brighten it up quite a bit and I'm going to click OK so we're good I think I like it this way except of course we need the shop name so we're going to go to our type tool and one thing about the type tool once you I'll tell you about all these other things too one thing about the type tool is when you first open your type tool it always chooses the color that is the top color on your color picker box and obviously I don't want my type as a light blue so I'm going to click on this and I'm going to make it black but if you wanted it a different color you would do the same thing you could make it red or orange okay so this tells me what font I'm using now I'm probably using a font you don't have but there are lots and lots of free fonts online go look around pick out some you like download them to your computer and all the all the fonts in on your computer are also available in Photoshop it picks up your entire palette of fonts okay now point size this is a little deceiving because a 36 point would really be way too large for this collage normally but in Photoshop some of these fonts have very strange point sizes so I know that for this particular image the 36 is going to be fine so with my type tool active I'm going to click on where I want to start typing and I'm going to type Bauer bird creates all right then I'm gonna go back to my move tool so that the type tool stops work stops being active and I'm gonna move this down just a little bit you can do that once you're in your back in your move tool you can move this a little bit around so that you get um, it exactly where you want it so I think that looks pretty good I'm gonna look at it a little bit smaller because I like to get an eye view of what it might look like on the actual top of my Etsy banner maybe I'll move this a little bit lower so it's more in the lighter part of the eggs and there you go now the next thing I want to tell you to do is I want you to save this now if you're going to put it on your Etsy shop of course you must save it as a JPEG or even a PNG file but I usually save one file as a Photoshop file so that anytime I want to go back if I want to take this bluebird out and change it for a red bird or I want to change the type all my layers here are still available to me once you close it as a JPEG you you can no longer change anything there are no more layers so what I would suggest is I would save one we'll do both of them right now we go to file and save as and I have we have it named as Bowerbird I'm saving it to my desktop and I'm going to save one as a Photoshop with all the layers see how the layers are checked and don't worry whatever color profile your Adobe is using that's fine just say that's okay okay and say okay it, it likes to maximize the compatibility with your uh, machine so sounds good now I'm gonna save it again only this time I'm going to save it as a JPEG so we go to save as it has the same name I'm going back to my desktop and I'm gonna save it here as a JPEG and you'll have as you see you have no layers and this is something that um, the later versions of Photoshop do you don't have to worry about that and also click Save okay and there you go you have a lovely Etsy Etsy banner to put in your new Etsy shop so I hope you enjoyed this have a great time make lots of um, little banners that you can stick on your blogs or Etsy shops or wherever and thanks so much bye